She That's got an interesting response. Uh, last night she said she's not at all worried about the lingering issue of her emails. You were in court yesterday, right, when a judge handed down what some consider to be a significant decision regarding the server and the email. Uh, what did the judge say, Stephen? Well, so the judge did two things. First of all, is he granted limited discovery to a group, Judicial Watch, which is suing to get a look at the Huma Abedin messages, the Cheryl Mills messages, and the Clinton messages. Limited discovery means that they're going to be able to ask a lot of questions that we don't know the answers to, and they're going to be able to get those answers under oath about how the server was created, who approved it, uh, how the, uh, the messages, the 55,000 pages that Mrs. Clinton turned, returned to the State Department two years after she left, how those were decided, and how she decided which one she wasn't going to return. All of this is sort of a prelude to getting those other 30,000 messages that she deleted. The judge yesterday said that he's inclined to issue a subpoena demanding that she return those other messages. Yesterday he said that. That doesn't mean they'll all be made public, but it does mean that there's a good chance the State Department will have a chance to go through afterward, after Mrs. Clinton, and say, no, this one is public, this one is public, you did this wrong. So there, there's a real jeopardy there for her in the future. To whom will they be able to ask these questions? To, to her well, or members of her staff? They're in the middle of drawing up that uh, what they want for discovery, and we don't have an order on that. That's a, they'll, they'll present their plan in about three weeks, and then the judge will go ahead and decide if that plan looks good. So, you know, I imagine they'll ask, they'll, they'll go as broad as they can, and the judge might narrow it a little bit. We'll know in about a month or two. It's still going. Ask. But here's the deal. This two, three more months. We're going to be talking about discovery over the next two, three months. This issue isn't going away, and this goes back to that issue of trust and veracity. This is all about, this is an issue of Mrs. Clinton's own creation, you know, the, the fact that we're in this situation. The judge kept repeating that yesterday. He said, look, this is not just any employee. This is a sitting cabinet secretary. The Obama administration has made extraordinary... A Bill Clinton judge. Bill Clinton appointed the judge. Uh, ...her emails. There's no precedent for a situation like this. And he questioned whether there's been bad faith on the part of the Obama administration in getting these emails out there and getting them out there quickly. Stephen, I mean, she would argue and other Democrats would say it's an irritation, it's annoying, but there will be no indictment. And I've heard very, I've heard a lot of people make the case against her, but very few people finish that case by saying she will be indicted by the federal government or this administration. Now, will she or won't she? Uh, I don't know, uh, and, and we don't know. It's likely that the Justice Department will make some sort of recommendation one way or the other, and, uh, or the FBI will make a recommendation to the Justice Department one way or the other. But look, it's the fact that we're still talking about this. Even if she's not indicted, the fact that, that, that all of this is a situation of her own creation, look, to boil it down, this only happens with Hillary Clinton, essentially. This, the, the speech is not being released and her getting asked about those, the emails, and the fact that, as Judge Sullivan said, this is a unique situation that we've never seen before, the cabinet secretary creating her own system and withholding those messages until two years after she left office, that's the issue. This is a politician uh, sort of activity yeah. in a year when politician activity is not well. Again, that, that, that's, that's a point well taken. Thank you. Stephen Dyna there working things on the Hill for us today. Uh, thank you, Stephen. Good to have you back. My pleasure.